Hello folks and welcome. Today I'm planning to show you how to disassemble keyless drill chuck and in particular the one that is mounted on Parkside cordless drill. For this purpose you need the pliers like this. Those are specialized pliers for retaining rings. The brand is KWB, it's a German brand. Here you can see the retaining ring that is holding the whole drill check assembly together. And by using the pliers we will have to to remove it. It's a little bit tricky but it's easy to do having such pliers. If you don't have such pliers you can do it by using two screwdrivers. It will take longer but again it's possible. You have this metal part and again we have another metal part just a second to well I will remove it later So we have this metal shroud and inside we have this plastic part and that's why I'm saying those chicks are not entirely metal. Next we have this corrugated metal plate that's making the clicking sound when using the drill chuck let's remove that too Now we have to remove this collet over here that's above the splitted nut and this can be done either by tapping it with a flat screwdriver and a hammer or in my case I will try to remove it with this bearing extractor. I'm not sure if I will be able to do it but I will try. Another important thing before continuing with the disassembly is to mark the position of the jaws. This is because they have specific thread and if you mixed up their position later when you try to assemble the chuck, uh, their thread won't match the thread of the split it nut and you won't be able to to use the check so mark the position of the gel seeder by using permanent marker or some other way Now let's try to pull out the retaining cord by using this bearing extractor. I'm not sure if I will be able to do it, but I haven't done it before, but I will try.
and it seems I will be able to do it. It's a little bit. So you can see how the collet is moving in this direction. Let's try once more. And here you go. This is the retaining collet that is holding this split nut together. And let's remove the nut itself. Let's see exactly. And here you go. Now we can remove the jaws too. So this is permanent marker, yes it is. We have to remove this bearing. We have our washer being needed. And here are the jaws. One, two, and of course, three. Basically, that's all what's inside in this keyless drill chuck. I will put some grease on it and we'll put it back together. This is the so called split nut. It's really hard to see where the split is. So I presume that this was manufactured as whole and later it was broken in two pieces like this. There's no other way how to put this nut here without breaking it in two pieces. Now, after putting some grease on the chuck, it's time to assemble it. Let's start with the jaws. Put this washer and above it we have this bearing. Its purpose is to reduce the friction between the split nut and the body of the chuck when you're tightening. It makes it quite easier to run. Let's put a little bit more grease over here. Of 
course it will be nice to put some grease on the thread and the jaws now come the tricky part those jaws have to be perfectly aligned I mean they all should be at the same how to say it position inside the body of the chick there shouldn't be one sticking out more than the others now something like this I believe and now somehow I have to And let's test what have we done. Perfect. The next step is to put the retaining collet over the split nut and this will be a little bit harder. Time to put the retaining collet. I will use this socket to insert the retaining collet And with some tapping, I think we are good to go. Now let's place the corrugated metal plate that's making the clicking sound. like this And the chick is fully assembled. Of course, I will have to clean the jaws from the excess grease. Now 
but basically this is how to disassemble and assemble keyless drill chuck and in particular the one placed on Parkset cordless drill so thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video bye guys